Hello, this is Mike Yanny with GetPackets.com, and welcome to uh, another video on application performance troubleshooting. And what we're going to look at today is a pretty common problem that I see uh, with a lot of protocols. And the one we're going to uh, specifically look at today is an FTP file transfer uh, that was running really slowly, right? And so, just to give you a little background on the network here, uh, it was a, a 10 meg connection between two remote sites. Uh, with about 50 milliseconds of latency between the two sites. And these FTPs and any file transfers that they were trying to do were taking a, a very long time to complete. So diving into troubleshooting this FTP problem, I'm going to use uh, a combination of tools. Uh, my, my favorite analyzer as of late, uh, Cascade Pilot uh, and Wireshark. And just a little information on Cascade Pilot, if you haven't seen it in, in a while, uh, they just released version 3.0 at SharkFest 11, and man, did they make some improvements to this. Uh, I, you know, I thought this was a great analyzer before, uh, but it just, just keeps getting better. So what we've done here, you can see I've imported this slow FTP uh, PCAP trace, and one of the things that I typically will do after that trace file gets uh, loaded into Pilot is check out the bandwidth over time, right? So one of the things I want to see is, you know, what was the actual throughput, right? And so we can see that we're getting about 83K here. Um, and again, this was a, a 10 meg circuit. So that is uh, pretty darn low, right? That's uh, why aren't we getting the full bandwidth out of that 10 meg circuit? So the next thing I'm going to show you here is a new feature in 3.0 uh, with, with the full version of Pilot. And it's under transaction analysis. And what they've done is actually include sequence diagrammings into Pilot. So as I drop that on top of the slow FTP, you can now see the sequence diagram or bounce chart uh, of the actual data. Now, one of the things to note here is we can look at application layer and we look, can look at transport layer. So if I want to get down and see every single packet, every single ACK, I can say, show me the transport layer. And so we can see this uh, data between these two uh, devices, uh, FTP client, FTP server. And again, you'll note the IP addresses here are changed to, to protect the innocent. Um, but if we look at this data again, we can see this chunk of data, this long blue line, and that slope indicates uh, the time. Um, as I mouse over that, you can see you know we're at 3.39 megabits or megabytes rather that was transferred uh, in this FTP. Uh, and we averaged about 69.34 kilobits per second throughput. Uh, again, very low. Um, so one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom into the transport layer so that we can actually look at the packets. Now, uh, as I hold control and then scroll my mouse, we can see I'm actually zooming into time. And as we do this, you can see those packets start to appear. So we can see the three-way handshake, um, and then we can start you know, seeing the, the connection set up or the FTP server set up. And then as I scroll down here a little a little ways, we can actually see where the data starts moving back and forth from the FTP server to the FTP client. Now, one thing to note, again, we can see the acknowledgments come back, and we can see this data go out. So if I scroll into this even deeper, right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mouse over this thick line, we can see that this is actually, and again, it was pretty, pretty quick, um, this is actually three frames, right? So there's three packets that go out from the server to the FTP client. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to I'm going to scroll back uh, so that we can get back to our regular uh, zoom that we had previously. And in this case, again, looking at this, acts come back, three frames go back out, and an acknowledgement come here, and then an acknowledgement come later. Uh, one of the things we can see is kind of these Z's, right? So anytime you're troubleshooting application performance problems, it's a good idea to look for patterns. And what we've seen here in this FTP file transfer is a pretty clear pattern, right? So acknowledgments, data going back, another acknowledgment, uh, some time later an acknowledgment, data going back, another acknowledgment, etc. So you see this pattern kind of occur throughout this entire trace file. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to highlight just this specific area, right? So I've got kind of one of these Z's, if you will. And if I right click on this, I'm going to say send this to Wireshark, right? So what we're looking at here is again, that FTP traffic, um, we see the acknowledgement come back, three frames go out, and another acknowledgement come back, 
right? So again, what you may be thinking again is why are we sending only three frames, right? So one of the things we can also do is we can kind of do some math here and say, you know, looking at this specific first frame, we've got 15, 14 bytes, you know, 14, 48 bytes of actual data going back. The next packet, same thing, 14, 48 bytes going back. And then this third one with a length of 24, right? So if we add up all that different payload size, one of the things that that comes out to be is roughly about 3K, right? So what's happening here is we've got 3K of, of data going back, an acknowledgement here. And if we drill into the TCP header, we can actually see that this is an acknowledgement to frame three, right? So TCP is going to acknowledge every two packets, and this is an uh, that acknowledgement for those first two. Now, if we go back to pilot, one of the things again that we see here is we see that at come back, and then roughly, actually we'll highlight this so it's more than roughly. Show you another feature here of of. Uh, uh, pilot 3.0. If I highlight that, I'm going to come over here and, and turn this button on. That's basically my ruler mode. So what it's going to do is it's going to show me what that delta was. So we can see that there's about 259 millisecond delay from this act to this other act. So what we've got here is is basically uh, delayed acknowledgments that are coming back because this application is only sending out 3k worth of data, and that 3k worth of data ends up being an odd size, right? So that delayed acknowledgement goes out because this machine is expecting another packet to come back and it waits, we can highlight this again, it waits 200 milliseconds. Let me zoom down here a little bit. You can see it waits roughly 258 here. Now let's go down a little bit, look at another one. 164 milliseconds. So again, from a performance perspective, it's pretty clear to see why we're getting such low throughput, right? So we've got all these application turns or these ping pongs back and forth, um, creating a lot of uh, latency delay or uh, what I call latency bound application, as well as for each 3K block, we have to sit and wait 200 milliseconds or in some, in this case, 259 milliseconds for that delayed acknowledgement to go back out, uh, all due to the application block size. So with the application block size issue, as well as the delayed acknowledgements, it's pretty easy to do some simple math and say, if we've got 2,000 application turns with 50 milliseconds of latency, you can multiply that 2,000 app turns by 250 milliseconds of latency, which comes out to be 500 seconds of delay in that end user's response time or for this FTP to complete just due to that application block size and the way that server is configured. Hope you enjoyed this recording and I appreciate it and thank you for watching.